Every one of us is poor and powerless. And yet together, we can overthrow an empire. Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Here's Val with another video to keep your boredom at bay. This past Friday, January the 22nd, HBO decided to release these three new teaser trailers, which fulfilled our need for more body chills. Now the question is, what are they trying to tell us with these teasers? What are they hinting at? Let's take a closer look. What do these three teasers have in common? The animation is the same. No, that's, um, that's actually an important thing. It tells us that whatever is happening to these three houses, it's all pretty darn similar. The ragged and torn banners are a direct yet metaphorical representation of the current state of the houses themselves. All three have had their fair share of losses, they have taken a lot of hits and have been torn apart. But also, just like the banners here, these houses are still standing. Then there's the other obvious similarities, like the dark choice of colors in audio, and the fact that each sentence being said is a threat to each house from an outsider. What about what's going on in the background of these teasers? I believe this represents what's going on with the characters, wherever they are. In King's Landing, everyone's intentions are kept in the DL, you know, in the down low. Everyone's been fairly quiet and calm about it so far, like the calm and slow sunset we see here. This sunset may also represent the dark times that are coming, the light that is going out. In the north, we see a stormy sky, which can definitely represent the war and the fighting that has been going on there. Lots of intense and clashing emotions, like the intensity of the wind, and the energy in the clouds that create lightning bolts. In the last trailer, there's a huge fire. That's all I got. No, but seriously, this is one of the hardest to interpret. This intense fire could represent an intimidation battle going on between Daenerys and the Khal. It could also be referring to Danny's internal emotions. Very wild and strong, but very hopeless as well represented by the barely visible light of the sun. What if it's depicting the destructive power of her dragons, or even herself? Could this be depicting the mess and ruins that Dany has left behind in her path? This then would be showing how everything that she's been trying to build is just falling apart. She tries to create something good, and all she creates is destruction. Rising flames could refer to the rise of her as a character as well. Or it could simply be the reminder of the fire that she walked into the last time she was a Khaleesi. The fire that allowed her to be reborn, to hatch her dragons, and to earn the Khalasar's respect. Now let's talk about what's being said in each of these. The Lannisters are being threatened by the High Sparrow, the Starks are being threatened by Ramsay Bolton, and the Targaryens, pretty much just Danny, is being threatened by the Khal that captured her, most likely Khal Jacko. I also believe these lines are from Season 6 dialogue, and not recorded just for the teaser trailers. That is how Game of Thrones trailers work usually. The High Sparrow says, we are all poor and powerless, so he is clearly talking to the peasants of King's Landing. And then he says, but together we can overthrow an empire. This echoes what he said to Lady Olena last season. You are the few, and we are the many. Ever since that conversation, we, the viewers, have understood how much power Cersei gave the High Sparrow when she allowed him to restore the Faith Militant, one of her many, many poorly planned political moves. We can also hear the Septa repeating the word shame in the background, which reminds us of how much intimidation power Cersei has lost. She thought that by restoring the Faith Militant, she would be earning their allegiance, and that she would be able to use them in her favor. But she failed to realize that this type of corruption is one of the things that the Faith Militant disapproves of the most. The gods are the only ones they serve. Religion is their law, and in their eyes, 
the royal families in power are the biggest sinners. Predictions I think we can safely assume that a peasant revolt is about to happen in King's Landing. But last time the Faith Militant rose in rebellion, it took over six years for the royal families to be able to disband them completely. And right now the crown cannot afford to fight them off, especially while the War of the Five Kings is still going on. The Greyjoys are still a threat and Daenerys may still show up, so if a rebellion does happen from the inside of King's Landing, things are looking very bad for the Lannisters. Ramsay says, Winterfell is mine, come see. Pink letter, pink letter, pink letter, pink letter, pink letter. Pink letter! Yes, this could finally be the pink letter we've all been waiting for. If you haven't read the books, then don't worry, I won't spoil this. All I will say is what you can probably already guess. Ramsay sent a letter to John. Pink just means it came from the Boltons. This letter didn't just say, Winterfell is mine, come see. It said a lot more than that, but that was basically the message. A threat and a taunt. Some people are saying that if Winterfell is Ramsay's, then this could mean he killed Bruce. Last season, after his marriage with Sansa, we heard him say to her that he'll be Lord of Winterfell one day. So he wasn't yet. Could it be true that he finally snapped and killed Bruce? And probably Walda as well and her unborn child? Ugh. Or is he just lying to Jon for the sake of making him angry? Predictions. This has been called the Battle of the Bastards, so who do you think will win? Jon or Ramsay? I think looking at the character arcs will help us here. It seems like both of them are reaching a turning point. Ramsay has had a lot of wins lately, and you can just feel his first fail coming. George R. R. Martin likes to keep things realistic, but he also doesn't let guys like Ramsay win in the end. Just like Joffrey, they cause a lot of pain, but ultimately, they meet their deserved end. Jon's character arc is searching a climax point as well, and if he was just brought back from the dead, it would feel off for his resurrection to have happened just to have him die again right after. Another detail that I wanted to mention is that we know for a fact that for a while, George R. R. Martin wanted to title his last book A Time for Wolves, so this tells us that he's been planning to bring the Starks back at some point. You know what I would really like to happen though? I would love it if neither of them won the battle and instead near the end of it, they would all of a sudden start to feel the temperature dropping very rapidly. Then they look into the distance and they see this crazy snowstorm coming, and the sky is getting darker and everything, the wind's picking up, and then us viewers in our seats would be like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, or... Dirt face. In the Targaryen teaser, like I mentioned before, this is most likely Khal Jacko trying to intimidate Daenerys, who I highly doubt can be intimidated at this point. She's been captured though, she's alone, Drogon is injured, and her other two dragons are still chained up. But it is about time that Danny's storyline gets a little bit more spiced up. Predictions. I want us to look at character arcs again. Danny's is overdue for its climax or breaking point, and I believe where she is now is the step right before it. Her arc has been very clear, she started off with a specific goal, but very weak. Then for five seasons she's been going through her growth period. Lots of conflict, lots of ups and downs, dealing with struggles, then things getting better, then more struggles. She even hit a point where she wondered if her goal was the right thing to pursue and she began to change her mind about it, which is very common to see as a peak in a character's arc. Now she seems to be hitting a crisis point, which is another common last step before the breaking point. This is not where things will end. This is only the last needed build-up. What other hints do we have? A few statements from people involved in this season's production who revealed that the dragons would be massive in season 6. This tells us that something major is definitely going to happen in Danny's storyline. I don't think they're going to spend that much money on dragon CGI for nothing. Imagine if the Dothraki just killed her dragons and Danny was stuck forever in Vase Dothrak with the Dutch Killeen. I mean, how lame of a character Arkhand would that be, right? If all of these teasers have so many things in common already, could it mean that the outcome of these threats is something that all the houses will have in common as well? If you think about it, all three of the backgrounds are things that get better. A sunset means there will be a sunrise. After every storm comes a calm, and fires always go out as well and new things grow from the ashes. Hopefully HBO gives us more hints. I'm expecting the first Game of Thrones season 6 official trailer to come out on the 3rd or 4th week of February, and the second one probably around the last week of March. Would you like me to make more breakdown videos? Or how about a season 5 recap video? That's definitely due before season 6 premieres. Just leave a like and a comment to let me know and I will be working on as many of these as I can. In the meantime, if you wanted to catch up on more Game of Thrones season 6 news, you can check out some of my other videos. There should be an info card popping up somewhere.
Or if you were interested in some behind the scenes stuff for this channel, you can go check out Because Views, a new channel I just started with Chris from Smokescreen. I will be uploading some stuff there very soon. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one! Stretch it. You know, I'm like, I'm sitting in a stool, which has no back support, <laughs> and I need to like sit up straight to face the camera, and I just, I just want to do this sometimes, you know. That feels good. You need to keep your back straight. You need to look like a lady. A lot of you have been asking me where to buy these t-shirts, so I started putting a link to it in the descriptions, and it's an affiliate link, so you will be supporting my channel when you buy a t-shirt. But only buy it if you really want it. Don't just spend your money. I just, just don't listen to me, okay? Just just don't listen to me. Anyways, see you guys.